In this video, we will be taking a look at the hydrostatic and properties of fluid apparatus, a self-contained bench that includes all the required equipment for a wide range of demonstrations and experiments in hydrostatic and properties of fluids. Let's take a look around the hydrostatic and properties of fluids apparatus. As mentioned, this is a standalone piece of apparatus that needs a floor area of approximately 2.5 meters by 1.5 meters with an integral tank that is filled with water so that it can be used anywhere in the laboratory. The main unit consists of plastic molding with a range of pieces of equipment rigidly mounted to the bench for stability, along with a subset of freestanding items that are positioned in removable slots. In this top corner there is a eureka can for obtaining the rough volume of a solid, a density bottle is used for determining the densities of a liquid, shims, a capillary plate, header tank with depth gauge, calibration cylinder, 10 gram weights and a larger iron weight. Just below this we have the Archimedes experiment for proving Archimedes law, toroidal segment for understanding forces on a plane surface and a beam balance. On to the lower area now. At the back there are two measuring beakers for simple measurements of a liquid density. Just above and behind is a Borden's gauge with a transparent glass covering over the dial which utilises the weights up here to measure the hydrostatic pressure. Here are Pascal's tubes for testing Pascal's law which states that where there is an increase in pressure at any point in the confined fluid there is an equal increase in every other point in the container. As you can see there are vertical tubes of different sizes, shapes and cross sections joined by a horizontal pipe at the bottom. This is permanently connected to the header tank and will fill as the tank is filled. To fill the tanks, the lift pump or the larger beak can be used. For further experimentation there is a fluid manometer, a water manometer and to help understand what is needed for which experiment we have a basic user guide. Around this side there are three graduated jars which can be used for experiments such as determining the viscosity of fluids such as oil, glycerine and castor oil, a cycle pump plus spheres of different sizes which can be dropped into the graduated jars using the ball guide. Included in the metacentric high and stability experiment which determines the stability of a pontoon with its centre of gravity, metacentric high and metacenter at various heights. Extra ancillaries are available including further pontoons for the metacentric high and stability experiment v chine and the half circle, plus the Hairs tube apparatus that allows the comparison of the densities of two liquids. The water required for the experiments is supplied by a reservoir tank using a lift pump. The lockable caster means that the bench is straightforward to manoeuvre which means it can be positioned in lecture rooms for demonstrations while being robust enough to be based in laboratories for students to carry out experiments themselves. The range of experiments that can be undertaken are determination of fluid density and specific gravity, principles and uses of the hydrometer, capillary action in tubes and between plates, measurements of viscosity by falling sphere method, demonstrations of Pascal's law, measurement of fluid levels by a hook gauge, fluid flow head relationship, verification of Archimedes law and demonstration of the principles of flotation, stability of a floating body and determination of a metacentric height, a measurement of force and center of pressure on a plane surface, operation and calibration of a board on pressure gauge. For more information on Techquipment's fluid mechanics range, click on the link in the description box. Thank you for watching.